Hi, I'm Marcel and I'm from Bella Barista. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to take care of your gorgeous espresso machine. So, daily maintenance routine would be good to back flush the, the, the main group head here. So, you should have a, a blanking disc with your accessory kit. So, just pop that into one of your port filter handles. And then, without using any detergent, just literally the, the bank, blanking plate on its own, pop that into the group head and then operate the machine as if you were making a copy. And that's gonna rinse, back rinse through all the little ports and springs and parts of the, of the group head here. So rinsing it through just with water several times at the end of the day is perfect. So probably four, maybe five times a year, I would do the same process, but you can use some back flush detergent. After uh, back flushing the group head is to get one of the little group head cleaning brushes here and to clean the shower head under the group head and to also just clean around your group head gasket that's right around the edge of the, the group head here. Once you've done that, just give it a final flush and that's the group head done. And then the last couple of little jobs you might wanna do before switching your machine off at night is to just simply purge any water out of the steam one, top it up so it's all ready for the morning. So monthly cleaning jobs with our machine or maintenance with our machine, I would recommend removing the shower screen from inside the group head. So to do this, you can buy specific tools or you can simply use a teaspoon and you just pop it up inside the group head and there's a ridge on the shower screen that you can then hook the spoon on or the tool and lever the shower screen out. So once you've removed the shower screen that comes with the group head seal, what I like to do is pop it into a bowl of hot water, both parts there and you can take the steam tip off your steam wand, but be very careful when you do this. So then I would also take apart the porta filter handle and just pop your, your basket out with using a teaspoon again, and then pop the, the basket into the water and also your porta filter handle. And then definitely use some of the Puli Cast detergent. So once all those parts have been soaking in the detergent for five, 10 minutes, um, we can take them out. Chances are they might still be quite hot. So you do be careful. And then I'm just gonna give them a, a little wipe down whilst I reassemble them. So basket back into our porta filter handle. So that's that part put back together and then we're going to put the shower screen and the group head seal back together. So I'm just going to give them a little wipe. Now with the group head seal, you'll notice that one edge is rounded and the other edge is flat. And that's always the flat side pointing up into the machine. Okay, so pop the group head seal back around the shower screen like so and then push it up as far as you can with your hand. Make sure your group head is cooled down sufficient for you to, to do this part. And I'm now just using my thumb to push the rubber gasket in as far as I can. And then the final part to get the shower screen and the gasket back in would be to use our portal filter handle 
slot it in as per usual, and then just twist it round, and that will force the group head back up in there. So once you've rinsed the handle, pop it back into the machine, and then finally, last bit of rinsing, and that's the group head all done. So we get asked a lot of questions about water treatment for your espresso machine. So we have got some products on the table here that we can recommend for water treatment. Um, so we have a standard water jug here. Uh, they're very affordable um, and very readily available online. We've got uh, in-tank water cartridges that are very, very similar to the cartridges that go inside a water jug. So instead of putting the cartridge in a jug, you're putting it specifically in the machine. But it's nice to have a jug because then you can use the water for drinking um, rather than purely just for the, the espresso machine. If you've got a plumbed in machine, you could use an inline cartridge like this one here. But please be aware that all of these water treatment devices will only help slow down the process of calcium buildup. They will never stop it completely. And if you, if you live in a hard water area, the chances are that the calcium is gonna build up in the machine um, quite quickly, even when you use these devices. So as a result of that, you may have to descale your coffee machine. Um, if you read the manufacturer's instructions, they usually say we don't recommend descaling your machine at home and that you should take it into a professional company like us. But that can cost money and take time and then you're without your espresso machine for a week or two. So if you do want to descale your machine at home, we'd always recommend a natural product like citric acid, um, but always check first that you have no allergies to uh, citric acid. Um, and then you'll find instructions online on how to do this and there's usually good instructions on the, the side of the container um, with the citric acid in it. Thank you. Hopefully you found this information useful, but if you still have questions or queries, please don't hesitate to email us or call us.